Hi, I'm Logan. Today we're going to do an intermediate level GRE math problem. The topic is percents, one of the most popular GRE math topics. Uh, and you're going to see that conceptually there's just a couple of key things to know here, but mechanically it's going to get a little bit complex. So try to be neat in your work, give it a go, and then I'll come back and show you how I would solve this one. All right, let's try to unpack this very uh, kind of overwhelming sentence. The first thing that I notice is that there's a gazillion ofs. 1% of 200% of 360 is what percent of 0.1% of 60? Okay, all these ofs tell me that I'm gonna be doing a fair amount of multiplying. Of in percentage problems and fraction problems is code or multiply this, multiply these two things. Well, what are those things we're going to be multiplying? It's a lot of percents. So what do I do with those percents? Remember, if you want to calculate percents, you can translate them into decimals, so 0 0.01, or you can translate them into fractions, 1 over 100. And to do the fraction translation, you just divide the number by 100. Uh, in this case, I'm going to opt for fractions because I can see I'm multiplying a lot of things in a row. I hope that something is going to cancel out and make my life easier. Uh, and I also have this kind of yucky percent here. I don't really want to bake a decimal into a decimal. All right. Uh, if I start laying this out, 1%, just going to go left to right and try to build myself a little formula of 200% of 200%. Of 360 is, that's my equal sign, very nice. What percent? Now, this is an important part of the problem. How do we translate what percent? Well, it's just like other percents where we divide by 100. Uh, but this time, we don't know what percent it is. What do we do when we don't know? Well, we can make a variable. I'll use x. x over 100 is what percent? I don't know yet, of 0.1%, just going to put that 0.1 over 100, of 60. All right, now I have to start doing algebra. My first step is typically to clean it up. Uh, and in this case, I am going to cross off my 100s, because I'm dividing by 100 two times uh, on each side. So those are just going to cancel out. That's a relief because now I'm just going to have one line to deal with. I can also ignore multiplying by 1. 200 times 360 equals x times 0.1 times 60. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and calculate both sides of these. You could wait and calculate all at the end, but sometimes I get nervous doing too much in the calculator all at once. So if you plug these uh, each side into your calculator, you're going to get 72,000 equals x times uh, 0.1 times 60 would give you 6. All right, we're almost there. x is going to be 72,000 divided by 6. That's actually going to give us x is 12,000. Now, that is my answer. 12,000%. I don't really need to worry about dividing by 100 because what I wanted was the percent. What percent? There it is. X is my answer. Okay, a couple takeaways from this one. Uh, first off, be careful when you're setting up these uh, multi-step equations. A lot of times the hardest part is the setup or what we did right there. Um, so you translate left to right. You can take bit by bit uh, and create your equation. Second, be aware of this skill right here, translating what percent into x over 100. The GRE loves percents, so that is one that I bet is going to show up on your GRE when you see some sort of percent and algebra problem combined. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more of these Math Spotlight videos from Manhattan Prep, and tell us in the comments how you solved this one.